Today on Destination Polaris, we salute our veterans. We head to Texas Hill Country and lay down one killer surprise. Plus, Warfighter Made provides some recreational throttle therapy in Hiawatha, Utah. These guys are loving that Razor life. Destination Polaris is presented by Rugged Radios, the authority in communications. Welcome to Destination Polaris. We are in Texas hill country, and if you didn't know there were hills in Texas, well, you're about to find out. Texas Hill Country isn't like the rest of Texas. No offense, but there's actually a view. You know what's cool is you can actually see a lot of the trails you know, all the way around. Yeah. Just an hour northwest of Austin is Marble Falls, Texas, and the home of Hidden Falls Adventure Park. Dude, we're in God's country. Brian Reeswig helps run the park. We actually have elevation change. It's not just flat, whole bunch of nothingness. It's a lot of elevation change, a lot of hills, uh, a lot of trees. And Brian's got a pretty big job on his hands. We've got about 3,000 acres with about 150 some odd miles of trails. If it goes off road, we've got something for it. Dirt bikes, ATV, UTV, uh, Jeeps, full size, everything. With all those cool riding options, Hidden Falls might be the premier spot to ride. We would agree with that, but we don't like to toot our own horn. We've heard other people say that as much. We, our desire is to be the best, and we're trying to do whatever it takes to do that. We've heard nothing but good things as well, so we brought our buddies from Dallas Triple threat, off-road. Scenery right now, you just can't beat it. Central Texas is gorgeous. It's got, you know, mild trails to real rocky, hard to climb stuff that you gotta kinda figure out and use some strategy to. The triple threat guys don't usually do rocks and dirt. We mostly ride mud parks. They'd rather play in the mud because they build some of the biggest and baddest custom machines in the South. On this trip, they've swapped out those big mud tires for a set of rock crawlers. I'm definitely I'm the first to jump in and say, let's try it and, you know, let's see how we can do this. So we've upgraded everything I can on that bike that I know of. And, you know, we're, we really, I think we're going to be all right. One guy who can't wait to kick up some rocks is Bradley Grutzner. Nobody said a word to me. The guys kept Brad in the dark about the ride until the very last minute. He has no idea, none. Why'd they keep this trip a secret? You're about to find out. So we've had a great day here in Texas Hill Country, but we're not done yet. The best thing, and I mean the best thing we've ever done in the nine years of doing this show, 
is right inside this trailer. Stick around, you're watching Destination Polaris. I want everybody to know your story in Iraq and what happened. Destination Polaris is sponsored by Rugged Radios, the authority in communications. And by KMC Wheels, precision for chaos. And by Brimstone, camp, ride, and kick back at Brimstone. How far do you think Lake Travis is from here? Oh, it's, it's about eight or 10 miles. Welcome back to Destination Polaris. We're gonna do something very special for a military veteran that's been riding in our group right now. Out of this trailer rolls a custom Ranger for a veteran and a friend. I want everybody to know your story in Iraq and what happened and the things that you're kind of doing now. On November 15, 2006, Bradley Grutzner and his crew were on patrol to find terrorists. The platoon sergeant, he was right on my truck and he said, hey, what do y'all want to do? What do you think we said? Well, let's go get them. I remember leaning over the transmission in front of the radio mount, and I cracked my window just enough I could smoke a cigarette. That's the last thing I remember. On their way back, Bradley's Humvee struck an IED made up of two anti-tank mines and multiple propane tanks. It destroyed the Humvee. It blew me out. It blew my gunner straight out of the top of the hatch. We were the only two that survived. Everyone else was dead instantly. I woke up sometime in January at Bemsey. No idea what was going on. The blast left scars both inside and out. 15 broken bones, the amputation, traumatic brain injury, Years after rehab, Brad lives his life to help others. Every tattoo I have has meaning. He's a walking miracle, to be honest with you, and we're just kind of glad to know him. That's all I want to do for the rest of my life is help people, make one person's day better. He's the first one there if you need him. Uh, doesn't ask for anything ever. Just wants to be included when you're, when you're going out to do things. Well, Brad, it's time to pay you back. Buddy, we've built you something, and we want you to have it. <coughs> and it's for you, because of you, and because of all the people that put in that like who you were. We love you, brother. Go take a look at it. You're up, man. Built me something. Right there. <laughs> Come here. It's all right. That's for you, that's yours, and you leave him with it. Brad's rarely at a loss for words until now. Don't know what's... I'll take a hug from you, hell. <laughs> we love you, calm down, you're all right, bro. Look at that. That's love right there, Bradley. It's free and clear, and there's a title to it. We gotta thank a lot of people, man. But most importantly, we gotta thank Polaris, Destination Polaris, and Matt and Perry at Triple Threat. Give that back, man. This is just nuts. You're fixed up, man. Ask him what he likes most about the bike. That's easy. You already know the doors. 
Journal of a Homeless Hero is Brad's way of not forgetting those who served before him. (laughs) He travels the country documenting the stories of our veterans. The fact that it's hand painted, it's not a sticker, it's not a decal, it just, it fills my heart. Okay, y'all ready? Until yesterday, I just thought we were close-knit friends. They're family now. I can't put it in words, what that means. It's like I'm not forgotten. Destination Polaris is sponsored by the Polaris Visa Card. Power your passion. Earn Polaris cash on your everyday purchases. Polaris Adventures. Safe, memorable adventures. B&W Trailer Hitches. Towing Adventure. And by Aluma Trailers. The best aluminum trailers available. Well, Jared's in Texas. This week, I'm in Utah for the Shoot It Live event benefiting Warfighter Maine. And we're about to go up in the helicopter for a little target practice. We're up in the mountains in north central Utah. Look at this terrain. Let's first scope it out from the air. Then we'll hit the trails. This Shoot It Live event is the first of its kind. All proceeds benefit Warfighter Made, a nonprofit that helps wounded veterans through recreational therapy. There's no shortage of action. Guests can take a heli ride and shoot rounds at targets. There are guided razor rides, dozens of vendors, and lots of live round action. We're in uh, Hiawatha, Utah, which is a uh abandoned coal mining town that we leased to do um, training for the military and, and photo shoots, that kind of thing. It's family oriented. It's, it's meant to be like a, a carnival. I mean, Polaris was kind enough to, to let us use some of their, their donated razors and we put them to, to hell and back. It didn't take long to get the adrenaline pumping. Some serious firepower, uh, that's what we're shooting. Once you guys get airborne, Kirstie will be your, uh, your RSO on board. She'll give you instructions uh, once you approach the targets. I went with Alder Sherwood. This is a first for both of us. So exhilarating. I was I was really nervous, especially shooting off of it, but oh my god, like it's such a rush. It was so fun. Alder's boyfriend, Eddie Wright, is a medically retired Marine. So this is my very first Warfighter event. Thanks to Warfighter Made, Eddie and a guest came to Utah from San Diego, California. His razor ride was with fellow service brother Jonathan Blank. It was pretty awesome finally meeting Eddie because he was a reconnaissance Marine and same branch, same unit. It's pretty cool. I think what I liked most about this Warfighter event was just getting together with people from the same background, um, 
you know, other wounded veterans. I mean, we instantly have that bond of being Marines, and then even more than that, we're reconnaissance Marine. And then not only that, we're both injured in combat, so we've already been through so much of similar experiences. Eddie served for six years until he was wounded in 2004. We got into an ambush. I was in the lead vehicle. We were pinned down. And while we were fighting our way out of that uh, position, uh, I was struck with a rocket propelled grenade. It took my hands off immediately, and I almost lost my left leg. Jonathan served for eight years. He was wounded in 2010. So I did the entire deployment. Uh, up until like the last couple of days, like six months into it, I got injured. I stepped on an IED and sang in Afghanistan. That severed both my legs instantly. Both experiences heartbreaking and life-changing. But these guys remain positive with their outlook on life. We don't quit, you know, don't give up. To quit, to give up, to fail, to not quit. And that's not who we are. I value my time so much now that I refuse to accept a life that I feel isn't bringing me like peace and enjoyment, you know what I mean? It's about people, experiences, and if you can root it all in love. So to be out here with nature and mobbing around these hills and then side-by-sides is, uh, that's all the medicine you need in the world, you know? Warfighter made the really, like, they do it right. They put the veterans first, you know? Like, every single dollar and cent goes directly to helping veterans. We can't say thank you enough to Eddie and Jonathan and all veterans for their service and sacrifice. When we come back, we're gonna take you up in the mountains and explore this ghost town. You're watching Destination Polaris. Destination Polaris is sponsored by Super ATV, your trusted source for high quality parts and accessories. Kicker and SSV Works. Go wherever your music takes you. And by PRP. Seats, harnesses, and storage for your UTV. PRP, built for off-road. Welcome back to the first ever Shoot It Live event, benefiting Warfighter Made in Hiawatha, Utah. My name's Albert Winchell, served for 11 years in the Marine Corps, uh, both in Iraq and Afghanistan. First time on a Polaris in the mountains. Oh, that's great, honestly, uh, being able to relax, kick back with them. It is definitely recreation therapy. Hundreds enjoyed a pedal to the metal, locked and loaded day of family fun and adventure. Guests rode razors with Warfighter Made Veterans and the founder and CEO of that nonprofit, Rob Blanton. What we really want is, you know, people that are not necessarily veterans to kind of treat those veterans like the rock stars that we think they are. We're Warfighter Made, which is a veteran-based nonprofit that does recreational therapy for ill, injured, and combat wounded service members and veterans. Hiawatha, Utah is a ghost town, formerly a coal mining community. The trails start around abandoned buildings and head up into the mountains. Toby Sanchez and Gabe Martinez are two of the Warfighter Made veterans. Both are retired Marines. They met while serving and became best friends. And you know, it's nothing better than to reunite with an old Marine Corps buddy and pretty much a brother to me. We've, we've been best friends now for going on a decade. Let's roll, let's roll, let's roll. At first we hated each other. We couldn't stand each other. And after about five, six months, I'd say, we kind of bumped heads so much because we're so much alike, we became the best of friends. And ever since then, we've been inseparable. Gabe lives in Colorado, Toby in Texas. So it means a lot to them that they have a weekend to ride together. And I think coming together with not only Gabe, but the rest of these fellow veterans, I mean, getting to spend time with them is like going back to the brotherhood we had in the Marine Corps, the camaraderie, you know, breaking bread as we called it back in the Marine Corps. Warfighter Made is, is, 
is an organization that very quickly became near and dear to my heart. And it's because it's like family. The best form of getting over kind of things, experiences, PTSD, is being around other veterans. I mean, somebody that's actually been through what you've been through, somebody that can really say, yeah, I understand what you're going through. Somebody that actually knows where you're coming from. Gabe's an inspiration to not only veterans, but to all of us. There's light at the end of the tunnel, and uh, the tattoo of my arm says, tough times don't last, but tough Marines do. And I mean, it's, it's, it's not just Marines, it's people. I could do one or two things. I could sit in this deep, dark corner, and, you know, feel sorry for myself, and, and kind of wish my life away, but the end result, my legs aren't gonna grow back, you know, so I could, I could either do that or I could make the most of it. You know, since my injury, I've had two, two beautiful children. You know, I'm married to my wife, who I married after high school, and, you know, I got, I got a lot of positive in my life to keep me going. There's no question, in every way, Gabe is full speed ahead. I'm like Ricky Bobby and Talladega Nights. I mean, if you ain't first, you're last, and you know, I like to go fast. Get behind the wheel of these razors. I mean, these machines are incredible. Rob and the guys were able to outfit one of the razors with the hand controls. I mean, it, it, it's kind of like a new freedom. Uh, I'm able to, I don't even have to wear my, my prosthetics if I don't want it, which is a big thing. Veterans, we appreciate you, and you are part of our Razor family. For more information on Warfighter Made, head to our Facebook and Instagram.